Yo, what up guys, Ragecage20 here, and today we are going to run some dungeons. I personally don't think there is any videos on YouTube that is adequate showing every single dungeon and dungeon location uh, that's not all blurry and crappy quality, so I figured that I would start doing that myself. The first one we are going to start off here with today is going to be Ragefire Chasm, and that is here within Orgrimmar itself in the Cleft of Shadow. Cleft of Shadow is, of course, right over here by the drag. You just come in here, and it's right up in here. This first dungeon is not going to take long at all. I think I timed it, like, yesterday. It takes, like, two minutes, two and a half minutes to three minutes. It does not take long at all when you're high level. And I can't really move very fast in here, but that's all right. Uh, for most of these dungeons, especially the low-level dungeons, I'm going to do two things. One, I am going to keep my uh, my lightning shield off because I am running through all these on my shaman I'm going to keep my lightning shield off because if that procs on an enemy when they hit me before I hit them it will kill them and I won't get the credit for it so I won't get the loot and I want money so that's one thing the other thing with these dungeons and hopefully you watch this one first because I am not going to say this again I'll probably put it in the description but that's about it uh, I'm probably going to use uh, la what is it? Uh, light uh, chain lightning a lot, even though I am an enhancement shaman, not a elemental shaman. Just because in these low levels, when everything will one shot all these people, you can just take down waves at a time with chain lightning. So that's really easy. This is the first boss, level 16. I won't be able to show pretty much all these dungeons. <laughs> it's exactly just one shot any, any boss. I won't be able to show these dungeons. Uh, with a whole group of people because that'd be pretty much impossible to show what it's like to do this when you're actually level 14 to 16 But I'll try to I would be able, at least be able to show you the dungeons himself This place used to have a bunch of more bosses, but they like removed all of them. I forget where my buttons are my mic or not my mic my mouse yeah, they took a lot of them away. There used to be like these trog bosses, which is those like weird looking cave dwelling mothers. Uh, but then like all of a sudden it's like all these flame dogs like killed them or something. I think that's what they're going with. They used to be like back that direction, like up there. Yeah, like with one of those guys. But they got rid of them and added like whole new bosses, which are cooler bosses, don't get me wrong. They are pretty, pretty damn cool, but... Personally, I kind of like how it used to be, but that's just, that's just me. I'm, I'm not an elitist, but I'm close. So this is the second boss up in here, and again, with everything, we're going to kill him. Usually, he would summon, like, I think he drops things from the skies to summon circles underneath you, so you just have to keep constantly moving. Um, I think that's about all he does. I don't, <laughs> I don't really remember. I haven't soloed this place since I was like level 16, I think. Uh, I don't remember. <clears throat> so we're coming up on the third boss here. This guy, I believe there was some form of him before. I don't think he's new, but I can't remember. There's a slag mob up in here. Once again, he's going to die in one hit because all my abilities do <laughs> like way more damage than they're supposed to because they're all great and really low level to me. But, uh,. All he does is he goes under the ground, or into the lava, and pops up on different sides. You just have to constantly keep moving your uh, placements of either like totems or stuff like that. You gotta keep moving those around and switch sections. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Damn lag. I do like when you kill him that you cut his head off. I think that's pretty, pretty funny. Even though it's hard to see that when you just one shot everybody. This guy comes and clears all these ways for you. Then you just come up and just fight him. He's pretty much a standard, standard just tank and spank. Which I'll define that later. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Rage Fire Chasm right there. That was the uh, first dungeon, and uh, I will see you guys in the future dungeons.